sure you have many war stories. You know, you've interviewed hundreds of people. Could you maybe share with us one or two of the, I don't know, funniest or strangest <laughs> interviews <laughs> you've ever conducted or the funniest questions that you've ever been asked? Oh, I had loads of them. I think one, one which was actually quite unique was uh, a couple of years ago I was in Morocco. And um, even though I speak French, I have to tell the candidates I have to interview in English because I have to know how well your English is. So, of course, a lot of the candidates who knew that I was coming and that I would speak French uh, became a little nervous when they all of a sudden learned that they had to interview in English. I had this young lady sitting opposite me, and I was sitting there, and I'm usually quite organized. I've got my laptop, I put my interview results in, I've got a glass of water here. So this girl is sitting there, and she's literally shivering in front of me. And I said, Ilham, are you okay? And she says, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. And as she moves, she hits my glass, which goes straight over my laptop. <laughs> All I could see is a little bit of smoke, a big <laughs> and everything went off. So, of course, I had to call up my IS, IS manager and I said, listen, it's a bit of a problem. I had a whole glass of uh, Avion water has gone over my laptop. Uh, and the answer was, put it up that, uh, upside down uh, and dry it with a hairdryer. And I said, you can't be serious. And he said, yeah, yeah, do it. And it worked. So mm -hmm. next day, my laptop worked again. But poor Ilham, I had to invite her back next day for an interview. And she was sitting a meter away from me. She told me, this time, I'm not going to touch your glass. Uh, so, so that was one of the, of, of the stories where I sort of felt sorry a little bit for Ilham. And, uh, but there, there are many funny stories like this, uh, many of them. Interviewing is a, uh, is a fantastic thing because it's, it's an excellent way of learning about a country and about a culture. Because as you go into a new country, and I've, I've recruited in 50, 60 different countries, uh, but as you go into a new country, you have to, you have to get a certain understanding on what questions you would ask a candidate. So you have to learn about the education system, you have to learn about languages, uh, military service, pastimes, hobbies, uh, what does it mean, the experiences they have. Uh, so if you spend three, four days in a country interviewing candidates, uh, it gives you a great piece of knowledge uh, about their culture and their background. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a fantastic experience. Uh. I mean, many interviewers try, you know, certain types of what they call psychometric testing. Mm -hmm. How would you rearrange a giraffe, or if you could be any mm. animal, what would you mm. be? Mm. From your experience, do you do this, or mm. do candidates need to be aware of these type of questions and be ready? Mm. You can't be aware of psychometrics. You know, I, th I think psychometrics are very good assessments. Uh, I think it depends what psychometrics you're working with. Uh, uh, psychometrics can be personality assessments, it can be ability assessments, it can be both. Uh, um, it is considered a best practice to use assessments. Uh, uh, but you have to see how are you using them. Are you using them in the context of giving me more information about a candidate, or am I using it as a disqualifying measurement? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, a lot of information use it as a yes and no, disqualifying, which is not necessarily the way a psychometric should be used, at least not in an organization like ours. So for us, a psychometric gives us a lot of information, a lot of insight into a candidate. Uh, um, it gives us uh, certain predictions uh, about how this candidate can, can maybe um, uh, perform in the future. And uh, it is definitely a best practice. Would we use it for all applicants? Uh, not really. I think for us, psychometrics we use on certain levels. Uh, mm -hmm. um, we use it on managerial positions. We use it for our management program. But again, really only to get more information about the candidate, giving us some extra questions mm -hmm. we can ask them. So if a, can a student ever got asked, what animal would you be? Mm. Is there any particular animal they should never be? I don't know. I wouldn't ask that question. Yeah. No, I wouldn't ask that question. Yeah. I think. I think question like this, culture comes in. Right. And if you do a psychometric, it has to be culture-free. Correct. And I think if you start asking questions that can be based on uh, cultural perceptions, uh, you're not going to get the right information. Right. Well, thank you very much for your time. It's been great speaking with My you. My pleasure. And we wish you all the very best of luck within your mm. new position in Chicago. I hope it's not too cold there in the winter. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much, Anthony. Thank you. Mm. Thank you.